I have the pleasure of welcoming to the desk Dr. Prem Jagyasi, Global Healthcare and Medical Tourism Expert for what promises to be a very interesting session titled Medical Tourism, What are the Emerging Challenges and Prospects? Kindly put your hands together for Dr. Prem Jagyasi. on yeah good noon everyone uh, wonderful to see all here talking about hospital management my topic today is little different than the hospital management but one of the most emerging subject right now medical tourism I know most of you already know medical tourism growing leaps and bounds is doing exceptionally wonderful across the world but let me take you to a world picture, global picture. I was, I was working with Medical Tourism Association, world's largest association, as a chief strategy officer, traveled to 65 countries for working in medical tourism. So I have some inputs to share with you. So my presentation today, which I'm sure that you're looking at the top, you want to be successful in medical tourism industry, but let me start from the bottom of pyramid. Let me start from the very base and very important subject, the need of medical tourism. Because if we can understand what is driving the growth of medical tourism, we can actually understand how to participate in that. Right? Then we will also talk about if the medical tourism needs are huge, is the medical tourism growth inevitable? Or it is something that is probably a fade or probably here for just some little time, right? You might want to ask the Dr. Prem, is medical tourism really going to be for long? I mean, for how long patient will travel? And if it is not a fade and if the growth is inevitable, you will have a question that, okay, if I want to participate in medical tourism, is it very easy? Can I just jump into the industry and start generating revenue? So here I have certain challenges and difficulties to discuss with you. Then I will discuss with you some of the most important point, which is the understanding challenges, difficulties, problems of medical tourism, and how to convert them into a touch point of success into medical tourism. Then obviously, I will share some key strategies which I have seen more than 500 hospitals following across the world as I mentioned, I have worked with 500 international hospitals in 65 countries, so I will share some of those strategies well within my time limit, and I will share some ideas with you also. Now let's go to the medical tourism need. We are discussing this morning, I'm hearing some of my government fellow colleague and some private hospital, we are talking about the healthcare challenges in India. But you won't believe this. Regardless of what country you are in, be in USA, UK, Europe, or any part of the world, there are healthcare challenges. Somewhere healthcare is way too costly, somewhere healthcare is not accessible, somewhere you have the most advanced robot, robotic treatment, and even the government provides the comprehensive care, but then you don't have appointment, right? So what are the key challenges? If we understand those needs of medical tourism, then we can understand how to participate in the medical tourism. So first and foremost, yes, we have heard this so many times, so many times, that 70% of deaths happen because of non-communicable disorders. Haven't we heard? But have you heard this thing? That more than 50% countries are not capable to handle simple hypertension, diabetes, cancer-related disorder. More than 50% countries they are not capable to handle. Look at this figure, 53% hypertension, 42% cancer, 30% cardiovascular. Forget about the robotic surgery, about tertiary level care, most advanced transplantation, cardiac surgery, pediatric surgeries. We are talking about the simple medical conditions countries are not able to handle. Where they will go when they need medical services. Come to the second point. More than half a billion people, half a billion people every year are pushed below poverty line just because of healthcare expenses. 
your family was wonderful meeting and and one disease in a family you are below poverty line on top of it add the healthcare cost increase inflation in healthcare is somewhere from 7% to 22% and insurance also we were talking the cost of insurance is also increasing by 15% so where these patient will go when they cannot afford the treatment right then talk about waiting time millions of patient 20 million in canada only in one province 6.5 million in uk millions of patients are waiting there is treatment there is hospital there is there are number of doctor everything is available but you don't have appointment what would you do in that situation wouldn't you travel for medical tourism and again if i talk about healthcare resource shortage we were talking about that lower countries mid low countries and lower countries are hardly hit which will affect the shortage of resources will affect lack of quality of healthcare and high cost if you look at all these things regardless of the point it is and regardless of what part of world you are whether you are in developed world whether you are under developed world or you are trying to build your healthcare system some or other way you will realize that your country your healthcare system has a challenge which does not have a solution so developed countries will travel if the condition is not covered by the insurance they will travel developing countries will travel for modern care they will travel for many other high end surgeries and under developed countries they do not even have a healthcare system for india there are 90 countries which are the target market so medical tourism has a inevitable growth by the way my question is if you have a high demand high need you need to have a supplier if you do not have a good supplier the demand one day collapse somehow some other thing erupts right but we see we have a great supply also indian hospital global hospital hospital across the world they are interested to participate in medical tourism why not only it gives a business by 27 how much business we are talking about india 10 billion dollar 10 billion dollar business and across the globe 100 billion dollar with the growth of 15 to 20% and every hospital gains lots of reputation tangible non tangible by participating in medical tourism so definitely every hospital wants to take a pie of the growing medical tourism industry is it easy can you just think jump in in medical tourism and get the international patient to ask you question let me ask a question is it easy for you to take your mother to germany for the treatment what are the problem you might have you have to book the ticket you have to book the hotel you have to book the visa you have to get the visa get appointment from the doctor get the hospital uh, accredited and quality check and all make sure the language doctors speak make sure you get the travel arrangement there make sure that you have all the things in proper place and when you come back your medicines are available what not right so medical tourism is not really easy industry because there are complexity there are challenges but that's the one point i always say what's the big difference between a successful hospital and underperforming hospital in medical tourism is not the one who's technically strong not the one who does wonderful transplant not the one who does wonderful cardiac surgery but the one who understand the importance of support services because it's not only about the quality of healthcare i have seen big hospital keep on focusing on the low price and quality of healthcare element while the patient is looking for support services his travel arrangement his visa arrangement his uh, accommodation everything play very important role in the decision making and that's a very big step into a successful medical tourism practices i have consulted personally hundreds of hospital where i had done the training not on from the technical point of view because you see technical point of view you are already doing wonderful you have accreditation you have quality team and you are doing great thing but when patients communicate with you he wants to have a full comprehensive support system in place he is not only looking for quality of healthcare services and that's where most of the hospitals are not able their their team member is not trained about cultural differences how to understand the islamic patient how to understand the african patient 
they had no idea how to communicate with them, they had no idea. So these are the very small things which makes a huge difference. And that's why I say the support services are very important. Then you might ask me a question, the Dr. Prem, why, why these strategies which you are sharing will work? They are working. We are at this moment with our artificial intelligence. We have 5 million readers on our website. If you have not got chance, please do visit our website. 5 million readers. We have thousands of patients which we redirect for the hospitals and all. We have 1,500 facilitators who take learning from us, ideas from us, and constantly develop their business. And we would be in a great position to do one-on-one -on -one conversation to you and guide you how to develop medical tourism in your business during the break. Please do meet with us. We, Bharatja is also here, my head of medical tourism department. Do meet with us. So let us grow together and let's give the idea. But the first and foremost, develop a comprehensive support system. Know what to do, develop relationship management, negotiate better on behalf of everyone, provide that comprehensive support services and inter patient, international patient department. Let's talk one more strategy which many a time, many a time hospitals fail to do is that whenever you get an inquiry of patients saying, I need a knee replacement, how much it will cost? and you send an email back that you need a bilateral knee, $10,000 will cost. This is the easiest way to sign your business death certificate. Easiest way. Why? Because you are just answering on the technical point of view. You are answering on the situational point of view. While you can communicate with the patient and first empathize with patient, these words, sympathy, empathy, compassion, these are wonderful words in medical tourism. Use them. And then also tell to patient, not only we will provide you knee replacement solution, we will also provide you support services. We will pick you up from the airport, make sure you will have better accommodation, make sure your language is done, make sure you have a, a good transaction, um, con currency conversion, and all those things. All those are very important aspects in medical tourism. Definitely talk about customized and personalized care in medical tourism. Patients do not want to be dealt like a numbers right? Build trust, provide them education, provide them information, provide them knowledge. And obviously transparency also play a very important role. You might have heard some of the article which are going, some of the investigation, the big corporate hospitals do not provide standard prices. Yes, you can charge a little extra price to the international patient because you would provide that high-end services. You would provide top-level services. So there is nothing wrong. That's not illegal or not unethical charging extra for providing extra services. But make sure your prices are very transparent, very clear, where the patient can understand. Patient coming from Middle East, they don't pay taxes. I was in Middle East 15 years and never paid a single penny tax. So I don't understand why I'm paying the GST. As a patient, I don't understand why I'm paying service charges or GST or VAT or whatever. I have to buy the even the instrument or the supply. I, I don't. So you have to communicate in advance when the patient come from Middle East or Africa because they don't understand taxation. Transparency is very important in medical tourism. Be innovative, be unique. Even though if you are not so big, try to create a small category for yourself. Be the one in your own field. And it's very easy. It's not that difficult. We would be very happy to work with you to guide you how to be unique, be the one in the medical tourism segment. We are, for example, we are the global leader in medical tourism industry in terms of consulting organization. Search on the Google, search on anywhere, you will see the kind of work we had done across the globe. Then, uh, do focus on AI-driven lead generation, because it's not easy to get the patient. I would be happy to guide you how to use this AI-driven patient lead generation methodology. The okay. future of medicine, which we talked about, the gentleman already discussed with about the AI and also telemedicine and all, but I'm also saying one more thing to add is a medical wellness. Would you believe there are 87 million millionaires in the world? 87 millionaires in the world, and when they need treatment, they are not rushing. So if they need a knee replacement, they don't want to come for three days or five days. Now they are willing to come for 15 days to 20 days, long-stay medical tourism. After surgery, they want to go and stay in a resort. It's called long-stay wellness. Medical wellness is integrated already. Capitalize on that. Offer wellness in your hospital, offer wellness through partner, offer wellness through operative care, right? So in short, 
as a last slide, if you have to make a picture of the slide or if you want to remember anything, this is the most important slide of my entire presentation, which I call seven P's of Dr. Pain. Medical tourism will not grow without partners, so develop great partners. Develop a wonderful product price offering with a very clear transparency, whatever the charges, make it clear. Whatever product you are offering, make it very clear. Do the performance showcase, showcase what you are good at it. Do the online reputation, proper penetration, understand what is your geography, understand what is the target market and make sure you promote with AI because if you do not promote with AI, you will spend over amount to seek patient and then you will not have a viable business strategy. What you need a viable and sustainable business strategy as well to get the patient, international patient. And obviously participate in forums like this, international forums, international, we do master class, we are doing one on 30th September, we are doing another 15th October. Please do join us, let's grow together, let's give a hand to India's medical tourism industry which is trying 10 billion dollar. And then also think how you can position yourself. As in a hospital, you have to define yourself where I want to position. Whether I want to position myself in ultra luxury, whether I want to position as a charitable hospital to cater to the African patient, or I want to position myself as a halal hospital catering to the Middle Eastern patient. You have to position yourself as well. So in short, while my time is also over, in short, medical tourism is here. It's inevitable. The growth in medical tourism is a huge, significant, we are talking about 80,000 crore industry, 10 billion dollar alone in India, globally 100 billion dollar, 80,000 crore, a small pie for you, not a big deal. Participating is not difficult if you can understand what are those touch points that you have to provide, what are the services you have to provide, and also if you can make a sustainable business model. Thank you very much. And I will take a few questions if uh, time permits. Thank you very much once again. Can I take a question or? Yeah, okay. So, gentleman says that we are running uh, short of time. So, me and Bharat, Bharat, could you wave a hand? Bharat Jai is also here. He's a head of medical department. We have team Drashti is also there. Uh, please connect with us if whatever question you have, whatever support you need, and anything we can do for you. Thank you very much once again.